Six coming up, yeah. uh, good performance last time out of Victoria Warehouse, but yeah. you're returning to a little bit of a favourite place for you at yeah. the uh, Oldham Sports Centre where <laughs> you had that, um, what was it, a bit of a beast of an opponent, didn't you? You made your debut there? My, de my debut, yeah, last night. Again, just... in a really tough fight against a kid oh, who's uh, very experienced. He would have turned a lot of debut lads over for definite, but I'd grip my teeth and I got through it. And then, and then, like you say, was it um, Raymond Sneez? Uh, Robert Sneeze last time. Yeah. Down there at uh, third of March, it was. Well, you, that was your second stoppage, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, stopped a bigger lad, twelve to be came in. He was massive, wasn't he? Yeah. I was a bit worried Watch for you it. on that night. Oh, mate. I was worried beforehand, but <laughs> once I got in there, I could see. Not that I was going to stop him, but I could see, you know what I mean, which way it was going, and I worked and pushed it, and it well, came. Yeah, again, which is, I think, a, a, a very similar thing that you can see with all the fighters from yeah. this gym. You, you don't mess around, you get in there and you, and you go to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you've got a. Um, if you look back, at, it's probably one of your easier opponents this is going to be, yeah. um, in um, Lou Van Pooch. Yeah. But, you've got six rounds. Now, Lou has not been stopped for a long while. I think it's probably about 33 fights. 30, 34 fights, I think. He's had a lot there. Yeah, he's, he's not been stopped for a while. He's been in with some cracking lads. He's, yeah. been, he's fought on our shows numerous occasions yeah, yeah. against really good kids. Um, generally over four rounds. So yeah, yeah. you've got six rounds. I, I'm thinking you might be trying to make a little bit of a statement yeah. here. Well, it's just see how it goes the first, first few rounds if it comes it go, you know what i mean but we're not we're not pushing to stop him because i know how durable he is yeah i mean on his record he's done some eight rounders and got through all the eight with some good lads so well he, he seems you know, to have, he's learned his job i mean oh, his stoppages came early on in his first yeah inside his first i think 40 fights he he, he, he picked up most of his stoppages yeah, yeah. since then i think like you say in his last second half of his fight this is his I think his 87th fight, so yeah. it might be his 88th fight coming up against you. Um, like you said, very rarely gets stopped. But I am seeing a little seeking smile on your <laughs> face, and I'm thinking you want to go similar to your um, uh, your, your mate. You want to get a 50-50 knockout record? Yeah, we can see, can't we? But I'm not pushing for it. It's if it comes, it comes. And it's nice because you've got uh, Jack Rafferty fighting on the show for the first time with you in Oldham. Yeah, we used to. We've had fights, me and Jack, in the amateurs, and now we're here training together. We do, you know, we're, we're on the same show professionally now in, in Oldham, our own town. So, yeah, it's it's a good it's a good uh, good night for the boxing. And you had a good night a few weeks ago. Your your uh, gym mate Danny Wright uh, had yeah. a nice little step up. Fought a good kid over six Very rounds, good and uh, uh, won comfortably. Oh, but yeah. it was a good test for him. Oh, he was there. That lad was there. You know, he was still there in the sixth, weren't he? Yes. Pushing and, but Danny, like I said, he won comfortably, but he was still there and he was still giving back. He could back. ask questions, didn't he? Oh, definitely. And if, if Danny didn't answer them, he would have took it. You know, he would have had the fight, wouldn't he? Well, how's training gone? Because I know you're, even though you're a full-time boxer, you do work and you take, I think you take, what, four or five weeks off before for the this, fight comes up? For this fight, I took five weeks off for my first six rounder, so. But normally, I just take a month off. Mm -hmm. But with, with my six rounder, I've done, I've done five weeks, so I can get a full month in hard, and then the last week ticking down. And, and how's preparation going? Have you been running around with? Uh, I've been doing some rounds with uh, Bradley Ray before his debut. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, we did some good, brilliant rounds with him. Jack Flatley. Uh, and then we've done a bit in, in our sparring with Jack, you know, Jack, uh, Jack Raff. Yeah. So, yeah, it's been going good. Yeah, I was watching you work. there. You're always uh, good in here, not yeah. say. It's, it's deafening. It's absolutely <laughs> deafening. And when that's I come not Daddy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. The it's just the two of you there today. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, listen, I'm looking forward to October the 6th. Yeah. And hopefully, I'll be chatting to you and it'll be win number six. And maybe even possible stoppage number three. Yeah. Can I just give a quick shout out? Of course to, you can, mate. Uh, these are my new sponsors this year, Miss K's Hair Den, uh, Miss K's Calf, and then Easy Street Personal Training. And then let's say thank you to Ian Donatello's, 
David Evans Wealth Management and the Railway Ryton for the continued sport from last year. Cheers. Bye then, mate. Good luck for the six. I'll see you then. Thank you. Bye. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.